The Battle of Byzantium was a battle in the wars of the successors of Alexander the Great between the general Antigonus Monophthalmus and Cletus the White. It was a two-day battle fought near Byzantium at the Hellespont in 317 BC and resulted in a stunning Antigonid victory. Chapter 1 Background After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BC, his generals immediately began squabbling over his huge empire. Soon the squabbling degenerated into open warfare, with each general attempting to claim a portion of Alexander's vast empire. One of the most talented successor generals was Antigonus Monophthalmus, so called because of an eye he lost in a siege. After the First War of the Diadochi in 321 BC, the second partition of the empire took place, the partition of Triparadisus, Antipater became the new regent of the empire and Antigonus Strategus of Asia. Antigonus took command of the royal army and after being reinforced with more reliable troops from Antipater's European army, he marched against their enemies in Asia Minor. In 319 BC he first marched into Cappadocia against Eumenes whom he defeated at the Battle of Orcinia. Eumenes escaped to the fortress of Nora where Antigonus invested him. Leaving the siege of Nora to a subordinate Antigonus marched against the remaining Pedicans and defeated them at the Battle of Cratopolis. Antigonus's coalition partner, Antipater, died of old age that year and left the regency to Polypachon. Antigonus did not accept Polypachon authority and formed a coalition with Cassander, Ptolemy and Lysimachus against the coalition of the new regent. In 318 BC, Antigonus drove Cletus the White, the satrap of Lydia, out of his satrapy. Cletus fled to Polypachon who equipped him with a large fleet and sent him to take command of the Hellespont at the beginning of the summer of 317 BC. Chapter 2 Prelude Antigonus had spent the autumn and winter of 318 BC in Western Asia Minor consolidating his position and gathering a fleet. He now sent Nicanor with a fleet of 100 to 130 ships to do battle against Cletus in the Hellespont while he himself marched there with an army. Cletus was in the Hellespont with a slightly larger fleet. Chapter 3 The Battles The two fleets met in battle near Byzantium, Cletus won a victory in which some 70 ships of Nicanor were captured, sunk or disabled, the remnant managing to escape to Chalcedon where they were joined by Antigonus and his army. Antigonus ordered the remaining sixty ships to be readied for renewed action, and assigned his strongest and most loyal soldiers as marines to these ships. Meanwhile, the Byzantines transported his archers, slingers and pelters to the European shore, where Cletus's victorious forces were encamped. At dawn the next day Antigonus launched an assault by land and sea and caught Cletus completely by surprise, Cletus's entire force was captured or killed. Chapter 4 Aftermath Cletus managed to escape with a single ship, but he was soon forced to run it aground and tried to reach Macedon by land. He was intercepted and executed by some soldiers working for Lysimachus. This brilliant stroke greatly enhanced Antigonus's reputation for military genius and freed him from further worry of Polypachon interfering in Asia. He at once set out to deal with Eumenes who was causing trouble in Cilicia, Syria, and Phoenicia. 